most amazing artist. I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. Today, we are gonna be working on week two of our Batik Fall Leaves. And this week, we're focusing on using warm colors to color our leaves. Last week, we worked on using branching lines to draw our leaves in pencil, and now we are going to color them. Okay, so you will need your drawing from last time and I'm going to be using oil pastels to color in my leaves, but if you don't have oil pastels, then you guys can just use crayons. Okay, do not color this using markers, please use either oil pastels or crayons. That's really important because later on in this project, we're going to be doing um, a batik process, which we'll learn about later, but for now, all we need to worry about is that we're using either oil pastels or crayons because we need those waxy materials on this paper for our batik um, technique to work. But we'll learn about batik later. Right now, I just want us to focus on warm colors, okay? So I have my crayons out here, but I don't need them because I'm going to use oil pastels. And I just have my three warm colors, red, orange, and yellow over here. And I also have brown. Now, brown is not a warm color. It is actually called a neutral color. And it goes along with black, white, and gray. So black, white, gray, and brown are the four neutral colors. I wanna use brown to outline my pencil lines so that they stand out nice against my warm colors. If we used other colors like yellow to outline our pencil lines, then they might get covered up later and we want those lines to be nice, dark, and bold. So we are gonna use brown to outline our pencil lines that we did last time and then we're gonna use our three warm colors here, red, orange, and yellow to color in our leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna start with brown because that's the first step. We need to outline all these lines that we already made last week using either a brown oil pastel or a brown crayon. So as you can see, I have just gone over that middle line on my leaf, just like that. And I'm going over it a couple of times because I wanna make sure that this color is standing out really good. And use my brown oil pastel or crayon to go over those branching lines that I drew that are coming off of that main big line that we talked about last week. Okay, I did it over here, so I need to do it on the other side of this leaf. Just outlining, going over those lines that we've already drawn with either a brown crayon or a brown oil pastel. You also need to do the actual shape of the leaf, right? By the time you're done outlining, we don't want to have any pencil marks showing. So you need to go over every single pencil line that you drew last week. And I want to take my time while I'm doing this because once you add oil pastel or crayon to a picture, you can't erase it, right? So we need to make sure we're taking our time and it's okay if you make a little mistake, right? We're human, we make mistakes, no worries. If we make a mistake, we can either move on from it or we can color it in, turn it into something new, whatever you wanna do as long as you have a good attitude about it. Okay, so I finished outlining this leaf over here. So now I'm gonna move on to my next leaf and I'm just gonna go over all these lines um, and I'm gonna speed this part up so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing over and over again. And then I'll be right back to show you how I'm going to color these leaves in. just outline all of those pencil lines using my brown oil pastel and if you are using oil pastels you'll notice your fingers are going to start to get a little bit dirty and that's fine if you're in my face-to-face -face classes miss m will give you a wipe 
after we line up for you to wipe your fingers off and get that color off of there. Okay, it might not come off all the way, but what can I say? We're in art class, we're gonna get a little messy and that's totally fine as long as it's an accident, okay? So, here we are. My picture is completely outlined, so I'm done with my brown. I can set it off to the side and I'm gonna bring over my three warm colors. And you can color your leaves in however you want to. I'm gonna tell you a few tips and tricks that I like to do when I'm coloring with either oil pastels or crayons. What we need to do and make sure is that we are not coloring our background yet. The only thing we're coloring is our beautiful leaves. Leave the background behind your leaves completely white because we're gonna do something with our background next time, okay? So I'm gonna start with red. And when I'm using oil pastels or crayons, I like to start with my darkest color first. And that would be red in my case, since we are using warm colors. And I'm gonna start coloring the outside edge of my leaf. And I'm gonna jump over any leaves that I'm not coloring right now. So remember this leaf is overlapping this one. So whenever I'm coloring this leaf, I'm gonna jump over this leaf over here to make it look like it's overlapping. So I'm gonna put my red right up next to the brown that I did on the outside edge of this leaf. And I'm gonna go all the way around just like that. And I wanna make sure this color is nice and dark, so I'm gonna go over it a couple of times, and I'm pressing down kind of hard to make sure that there's little to no white space showing. Okay, so make sure you cover up most of your white space. And I'm just doing another layer of red just on the edge here around my leaf. And I'm coloring right on top of those lines that we just drew, I'm not too worried about it. We used brown, so it's very dark and it will still show up even if we color red, orange, and yellow on top of it. Okay, so I have my red. Now I'm gonna take my next darkest color, which is orange. And I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna color it right next to red, just like that. And I can color right on top of those brown lines that we drew before because as you can see, it doesn't go anywhere. It kind of blends in with whatever color you put on top of it. And I'm gonna go around the edge where I last colored with my red. I'm gonna go over that a couple times just to make sure I'm covering up most of that white space. You can even take your orange color and color on top of the red. And if you're using oil pastels or crayons, really, this works with both of them, it'll kind of start blending that red and orange together. And all I'm doing is taking the orange and coloring it right on top of the red and bringing it into the orange a little bit. I'm really layering my colors so that they are nice and bright and thick. All right, I'm done with my orange, so I'm gonna take my last warm color, which is yellow, and I'm gonna color the rest of my leaf in. Remember, while you're coloring, you need to take your time, okay? If you are rushing while you're coloring, then your artwork's gonna be very messy, okay? So take your time coloring your leaves in, because that's the main focus of this artwork, right? We want them to be nice and neat. So as you can see, Miss M is taking her time and coloring it in and trying to be as neat as I can. It's gonna look a little bit messy because if you're using oil pastels, they definitely get messy. But don't worry about it, just keep coloring and trying your best. If yours is all scribble scrabbles, then Miss M will know that you rushed and you did not take your time, okay? So make sure you are taking your time and not scribble scrabbling. I just finished coloring one leaf and I have a lot of little bits from my oil pastel, so I'm just gonna carefully knock them off. There's still gonna be some laying behind, but it's totally fine. If your brown started to smear away, then you can just pick your brown up again and go over those lines one more time to make sure those branching lines are nice and bold and we can really see them because we took a long time last week 
drawing our leaves and making sure that we could see those beautiful branching lines and we don't want them to disappear when we color them. So after you color your leaf, it is a good idea to go back over them one more time with your brown. And as you can see, since I put the red around the edge and then the orange and the yellow, those colors are starting to give our leaf some form. It almost looks like it's shading the leaf a little bit. So it, instead of it looking very flat, just one color, if you use many colors, it starts making it look more three-dimensional, okay? And I actually forgot to use my yellow and you can go over that orange a little bit to blend those two colors together as well. Remember, if you're using crayons, you can do the same exact thing. Um, they, your colors might not blend together as well, but that's fine. You can still layer those beautiful reds, oranges, and yellows together and on top of one another to create a beautiful effect. And you don't have to color it like Miss M did, but I think it's a good idea to at least use all three of your warm colors in each of your leaves. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up me coloring this because like I said earlier, you'll just be watching me doing the same thing over and over again for each leaf. So I'm gonna speed that part up and then I will be right back to show you what mine looks like. to go back on my last leaf here and go over those branching lines one more time. Remember to do that after you color in your leaf. Take your brown and go over those branching lines one more time. And my background did get a little bit dirty as I was working just because my fingers are dirty with oil pastel. But don't worry about it. Next week we are going to use different colors to color in the background. So don't worry about that too much. The last thing after you color all of your leaves using your warm colors, reds, oranges, and yellows, and outlining your branching lines, we are just gonna take the brown one more time and outline the shape of our leaf. We want that to be nice and bold, especially where they're overlapping each other because it can kind of look a little bit confusing. So we wanna make sure those lines are nice and bold and defined so we can easily see them. Now this might take you a little while, especially if you're taking your time and you're layering your beautiful warm colors and blending them together like I taught you how to do. But just remember to take your time and be patient. Um, my online students, you guys have until Friday to finish this, so you have the rest of the week to work on it. Maybe you could do one leaf each day or something, um, but this needs to be colored and please send me a picture by Friday at 4 p.m., okay? We are gonna use this next week, so make sure you put it in a safe place. All right, I hope you guys had a lot of fun coloring in your leaves using our beautiful warm colors. I can't wait to see how they turn out. I know they're gonna be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.